Walking along the saltwater mangroves of eastern Australia, we are looking for some bush tucker, especially mud crabs. Over here, we call them bacon of the sea. Okay, we found a crab right there. Look at the size of it. Dude, don't get hit by that. Do you need a stick? No, no the All best right. way to get these crabs um, is either behind, behind their um, back and get their two back legs yep. held down, or just be real careful, dude. Be real careful. No, I'll get a stick. Yep. Dude, we could eat this guy. Yep, perfect. Look at that. You don't want to get your toes in that. <laughs> Alright, be careful. Be careful. Look at that. Dude, I can't yes. hold it. I can't hold it. It's massive. Dude, okay, hold the claws. Hold, hold the claws, okay? Got it. Don't let go of those claws. Look at that. This is our first mud crab. Oh, Put him in the bag, put him in the bag. That's okay, they fall off sometimes. Awesome. Where is he? What? Oh yeah, wow. Wow, he blends in. Man, he's alive? Yes, good. Yep, I got it. Careful. Nice. Okay. Yep. He's got spots on him, Yeah. Don't pull too hard, remember? Look at Nip at my finger. Oh, feels really. <laughs> really There's two crabs. Two crabs. Man, I and we just started. Didn't think we would get us get us lucky. Twenty minutes in, we got two crabs. All right, we're gonna keep looking. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dude, this looks sick. Right, found another. You just can't really tell if they're alive or not. Not they are. Don't worry. Yep, here he is. Just grab his nipples straight up. Oh, he's aggressive. Yep, he's in there pretty well. I don't want to take his nippers off. Look at that. Another mud crab. Whoa, jeez. That was close. That was way too close. Alright, here we go. Alright, is he a male or female? Oh, oh, he's a female. Yeah, see that big, like, kind of big scale on its belly? It's Hang rounded. On, focus. If it's rounded, that's the female. If it's a sharp, pointy triangle, that's a male, and that's that's what's on those two other ones. We have, so we can't see this one, so we'll just put him back. Just put him back. Just here. Yep. Yep, got him. There he is. There he okay, is. Okay, quick, hold this, hold this, hold this. Get him before he goes go. back in. Yep. No, no, stop. You can't do that. Get on the other side of him. On the other side of him, Caleb. Ready? One, two, come up. There we go. Here we have another male mud crab. Yep. Perfect size. Perfect size for eating. He's gonna be delicious, isn't he? We're gonna bring him to the bucket. Alright, we've had a pretty successful trip. We managed to get six big mud crabs. Have a look at them. Look at them. Look at them. What do you say? Lunch? Lunch, <laughs> yes. Lunch it is. Man, we're gonna be so full. Yeah. <laughs> now we've made sure all of these six crabs are males before we took them out because you don't want to grab a female that's got all her eggs because then you won't be catching any more mud crabs. But this good food when you uh, just walk along these these mangroves here, you can find holes. That, they're everywhere. They lie in the mud, or they're in the holes, or they're way up in dug holes in the mud as well. Like not just tree hollows, but if you dedicate a day or half a day to catch these crabs, seriously, I've thrown nets out here and I haven't caught anything. And this is the first time we have caught crabs and we did it the right way, the proper way. Barehanded. Barehanded is always the way to go. Look, six big mud crabs. Massive. And we'll just take them home and cook them up and we'll show you.
not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. So um, when you catch crabs, you really want to you really want to look for the big ones because, like I can tell you, that's a lot of meat right in there. Oh <laughs> man, I'm drooling. All right, this is gonna be one tasty guy. <laughs> well, the fire didn't work, so we've got this little stove cooking thing here, and we've got about five more minutes till they're ready, and then we'll we can eat them. They smell so good. So there they are in there. Smell that. <laughs> that so is delicious. Once they go orange, that's good, meaning they're ready soon, and. With this thing, you wait about 13 minutes after the water's boiled. Chuck them in, wait 13 minutes, um, and then you should be right. And then you can just crack open the shell and... Alright, so they've been in for a while now, and I think they're ready. So... Wow! <laughs> That's the little claw, dude. Yep. Dude. Yeah, whack it here. So there's a little, little claw. Nice. Here we have... The biggest claw. Oh, massive. <laughs> Look at that. And a few little legs fell off while it was cooking, but that's right. That's it. Right, turn the cooking off. I like the wild one. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> feast. Big feast. Look at that. <laughs> right, so what we've done is we've cracked the bottom here, the triangle bit we told you about on how to, to determine whether they're male or female. And then we just cracked. Oh, open the shell. Look at that. <laughs> Man. Dude, can you eat that? What the hell is that? I think that's the meat. No, it's not. Dude, yeah, that's the meat. No, look what's under it. That's like... No, 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 don't eat that. That's... Unbelievable. <laughs>